What up, y'all? It's your homeboy, whatever, man. Just coming through with another video for you again. Out here um, on Mother's Day, smoking a wonderful New Orleans edition. I'm sorry, Alpha Cigar. New Orleans edition, absinthe infused Claro. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a beautiful Mother's Day, Mother's Day in Columbus, Ohio. It is, you know, it's a little cloudy out here. It's been raining. Um, you know, but it's not raining right now. I'm out here. I got I'm firing up the grill. You know, getting ready to cook some steaks, some salmon. Um, you know, so get it in here real quick. Um, I accidentally, I bought the wrong charcoal. Which I really wasn't paying attention because this stuff ain't ever just sitting out in the mainstream section. So, I got the, the hardwood lump charcoal. We'll see how that works. You know, I know it burns a little bit hotter. So I have to keep an eye on my meat, but you should be keeping an eye on your meat and your temperatures and all that anyway. So I don't think it'll be a big deal. Might actually taste a little bit better, you know, the smoke flavor. My bad, it got the, it's over there popping and stuff, you know, and the little cinders is coming off. But it might be a little bit of, a couple of drops of rain still coming down here and there. But anyway, um... You know, I'm out here trying to be on my best behavior, man. You know, I'm sipping on that bullshit. The Gato Negro, the black cat, some old cheap ass, <laughs> some old cheap ass wine. Probably cutting years off my life, but it is what it is, man. But yeah, man, there's some great boxing on last night. I didn't get to watch both cards. I, I got the ESPN one recorded, but I get, did, you know, catch the PBC card. Um, Yeah, man, I mean, uh, great show put on by J-Rock, man. What can I say, man? He put it on Jerry Heard, man. Something terrible. Well, you know, that man came out there in his hometown, you know, Mother's Day weekend. He got his mom and his family in the crowd, you know what I'm saying, and you know, you 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 talking about your next moves and, you know, how long you going to stay at 154 before you move up to 160 unifying titles and stuff like that, which, you know, any champion can talk about unifying titles. But, you know, he's thinking to, uh, you know, you, you get to talking about what you're going to do next and you got a formidable opponent in there um, and J-Rock. And I'm not going to say that uh, the fight turned out the way it did because her was distracted or anything like that. But, um Bro, you, you got to be 100% on and focused in it, it show last night, man. That, well, now we all know Jared Hurd is usually a slow starter. You know, give him a couple rounds and then he, you know, starts to come on. He gets stronger throughout the fight, and I thought that he would stop J-Rock in the later rounds. I mean, that was my prediction, that he would stop J-Rock in the eighth or ninth round. You know, I thought it would be a typical Hurd fight, you know, where – he, he ends up imposing his will on his opponents, and it catches up with him later in the fight. Um, but that absolutely was not the case in this fight. J-Rock came out there, and took he took advantage of her being a slow starter. He he put it on him from the opening bail, and he didn't let up on his attack. You know, he was relentless. Um, <clears throat> you know, he did a great job of mixing up, um, mixing up his shots. I mean, the uppercut was there for him all night. Um... Those hooks, those inside hooks, um, he was lighting Jared Hurd up, man, with them hooks and them uppercuts. <clears throat> and then, you know, he'd land a few, but then he would also drop down and go to the body, man. He was ripping body shots on Hurd, man. And, uh, man, it paid dividends, man. That was a hell of an attack, a hell of a strategy. Um, you know, he caught Jared Hurd slipping early, man. He, he had him, uh, you know, he hurt him in the second round, knocked him down. Um, and he hurt him a few time, a few other times during the fight, man. Um, there was several times where I thought Jared Hurd was finna go back down. And when he dropped him in the second round, uh, for a minute there, man, I ain't think he's gonna make it out the round, man. I thought, uh, J-Rock was about to go ahead and finish him off. Hurd showed his grip, his grit, <clears throat> but man, J-Rock, you know, he, he dominated the fight from start to finish, man. I... You know, my final store, score was 9-3. to three. Um, <clears throat> You know, I, I didn't think the fight was close um, at all, of course. You know, and some people argue, you know, you could I could argue, uh, you know, 10-2. You know, I'd give him a more than two rounds. But, um, 
it is still, you know, was competitive, good action. Um, those guys was inside slugging it out, man. And um, J Rock was just a better man, man. He had the will. He had the uh, the game plan. You know, he never uh, he never strayed from it, man. You know, even late in the fight. I mean, he looked like the fresher fighter the entire fight. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's a struggle for her to get down to 154. Um, and stamina issues, you know, I mean, I usually heard is the guy who's beating on the other man and he's the fresher fighter at the end of the fight. Well, that wasn't the case last night. <clears throat> you know, with that said, um, it, it was a great fight, but there's a few things that come to mind, you know, when I, when I think about this whole thing, uh, one is, uh, J-Rock mentioned that we got to stop counting fighters out just because they take an L. And, I mean, that's real talk, man. I mean, how many losses did Muhammad Ali have, you know? Um, there's plenty of great fighters, um, you know, people that are considered, the you know, the best that have losses on their records. Um, and that was, you know, legitimate. And, um, you know, when he said it, I was like, damn, you know, you're right. Because I ain't going to lie, man. I, You know, after seeing him um, get dropped and lose to Charlo, <clears throat> I thought that he wouldn't be able to stand up to Jared Hurd's power, you know, throughout the whole fight. So, you know, definitely something to think about there. Um, another thing, man, is these fighters got to quit playing games and make these fights, you know. Um, you couldn't get one of the fights that everybody's been wanting to see, you know, for a long time was uh, Jermail Charlo and... Um, Jared Hurd. Charlo took an L to Harrison, and now Hurd and took an L to J Rock. So, <clears throat> what are we going to get now? You know, um, who really, who it, do the fight, if it does ever happen, it's not going to have the same, um, you know, it's not going to be as desirable as it was before. It's not going to have the same hype, you know, um, if Charlo beats Harrison, what does Charlo do next? Hey, maybe Charlo, uh, or may, or just the winner of that fight, period. Maybe they go ahead and they unify with J-Rock. I mean, that'd be awesome, you know? Um, we'd love to see an undisputed champion. As many undisputed as I can get, I'll take, you know, because we don't see that all the time. Um, and that division, man, I mean, I mean, it's stacked. It's competitive, you know? Um, it's definitely, you know, some good fights, some good performances from those guys. Um... You know, I did. I felt that Charlo won that first fight against Harrison, but it was close. He didn't do as much as he should. And um, there are people who, you know, go back and they rewatch the fight and they believe that Harrison, you know, did win that fight. Um, so, you know, Charlo and Hurd are not obviously the dominant fighters in the division now that they both take an else. Um, you know, and... and this is going to happen in other divisions, man. Everybody plays games. They want to play that A-side, B-side crap, and then fights don't get made. Or, you know, this person's got all these demands. Or, you know, we want to wait and make the fight bigger, man. Like, give the fans the fights they want when the fights are there and desirable. Because, this, you know, these last few months have shown that none of that stuff is guaranteed, man. You can hold out all you want. Um, you know, in the heavyweight division, man... Um, what if Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder ends up taking a loss, you know, before the fight gets made? We lose a major fight, you know? So on the flip side of things, too, something that I did find interesting last night is although Jared Hurd said that he, they say that Jared Hurd has a rematch clause, Jared Hurd did not say, just come out and flat out say, well, you know, I want to fight it. I'm going to, I want to revenge my loss next. He didn't come out and actually say that. <clears throat> now, maybe in some other post-fight interviews that I didn't, that I didn't get to watch or didn't get to read yet. But one of the things that happens is these fighters get out there. They've got these immediate rematch clauses or these rematch clauses, and they want to take the fights right away. And I've said before, you know, sometimes when you take an L, um, you, you actually do need to go back to the drawing board. You do need to build yourself back up. Now, by not taking a rematch immediately, there's no guarantees that you get that 
you know, you're going to get that rematch because, OK, what if this person goes out and fights somebody else and ends up losing? OK, well, you don't have a rematch clause to be able to fight the person that's now taking over the title. So I do understand, you know, why a lot of people go back and they want their their rematch immediately. But it's not always the best case, man. When you when you take a beating like uh, Jared Hurd took last night. I mean, me personally, I mean, he got dominated pretty much from start to finish. Um, don't you, you know, that's that's tough. I mean, I don't know how he's going to take this loss in his hometown. You know, family there, Mother's Day weekend. I mean, the overall experience, man, that, that's that's rough. And, you know, maybe it's not a good idea to immediately jump back in there with somebody to just beat on you like that. Take a couple of fights and, you know, and, and then come back and, and fight them again or take one other fight. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, man. And I think that needs to happen more in the sport of boxing. Just take a look at my chart goggles real quick. Woo, we're getting there. You can tell that fire is nice and hot. So, yeah, man. Um... Just wow, you know, I mean, I, that was an amazing fight, man. Uh, something else I was thinking about it that I that didn't slip my mind. Um, so that's it, man. You know, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, yeah, I can't think of what it was. So I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. You know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at whatever man, W-H-A-T-E-V-A underscore man. Um, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe if you ain't already. And I'll holla.